Ahoy hoy, it's your boy Attack Slug back once again with another edition of Where You At, where I load up old save files and see where the hell I am at. And today, we're looking at Zack and Wiki Quest for Barbados Treasure for the Nintendo Wii, a 2007 release from Capcom, uh, which is essentially a point and click puzzle game. Uh, and uh, a game that I am going to have to sell soon because I need some money. To get, to, get, to get new games, and uh, not a game I, I'm ever going to go back to. Uh, but you can see, I put in a whole 2 hours and 45 minutes, and that was the extent of it. That was in 2011, uh, which is the last time I tried to go back. I bought this, you know, like pretty much when it came out, and I tried to go back and play more of it, and I just could not... There's just the appeal for me was not there. Uh, I guess I should show the, show the box, so here's, here's the box. Gonna be on eBay soon. Um, so here I am, me and my, me and, me and my monkey, uh, and I'm gonna kind of show you how this game works, uh, if I can remember how the, where the hell to go. Okay, alright, so, I was in the frozen temple here, we're gonna, we're gonna go back to the first stage, um, I guess the first stage is the journey begins, has to be, right? Uh, yeah, so we're gonna do that. I'll show you a little bit of how this game does work. Um, it is very much, they use this a whole lot, as you can see from this load screen here. Uh, and I picked it up thinking, okay, this is going to be neat. You know, they were, this is when companies were still trying to do stuff with Capcom, you know, with, with the Wii. And Capcom was like, you know, they were all, all their experiments and, you know, Resident Evil, uh, Umbrella Chronicles and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And this game sold like shit, so... Everyone kind of learned pretty quickly that uh, Nintendo games sell really well on Nintendo systems. And anything else, not so much. Um, so, this was unfortunately one of those. Uh, but everything about it... Can we, can we skip this? Everything about it, in theory, is a thing that, like, like the art style was really neat, and the concept was really neat. But the part where you played it, I really could not, like... And I do like point-and-click, you know, adventure games, like, that, that kind of stuff. I do like those. Um, let's just get this, too. Alright, here I am. That's Wiki. I'm Zach. It kind of makes the same sounds as, like, Super, Super Monkey Ball. Yo, Zach. Don't touch it. What's up, dude? Oh, that sounds bad. Look in the back. Hold B. Alright. Lordy! Ding! Right, camera icon. Clouds and shit. Uh oh. Airship. Final Fantasy. Rose Rock. Getting in our business. Pirate ladies. Little pirate dudes. Pirate dwarves. Yeah, you, uh, you do that. Captain Rose likes whipped cream. I'm not gonna make any comment about that. But yeah, this game's, uh, also pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty Japanese, uh, uh, because it is a Capcom Japan game, and they kind of went, you know, in the, hey, we're not sure if we're going to actually put this out internationally, so fucking go wild with it. Just go nuts. Can I skip this? I can. Back into the game part of the game. So then you gotta put the thing, and then you gotta, like...
See? All of this is just like you're grabbing it. It's like you... See, all this stuff I didn't like. That's... But for me personally, I am not a fan of motion controls. I tolerate them, but not a fan. So having to have them in a game is just... Don't like it. Yep. Whee! And that exploded. You would a parachute might help there. I don't know. That's just you know spitballing here. Skip. All oh, right. There's more to this scene. I had forgotten. Quite the splat. Uh, I'm... Yeah, that. Right there. Umbrella. Thank you. Click on it. That's like Zelda. That is so, so Zelda. Da, 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 da. All right. Item icon, upper right. Hold umbrella. Number two. Can I click it? Alright, we need a row grip. Straight up. The two button? There we go. Alright. We did it! Or I guess I did it. I don't know. Whatever. Did you know? Tutorials. Tutorials, tutorials, tutorials. Doing now? Idiot. And that was, uh, more or less skip. Yeah, I don't want to. All right. Motion controls. Huzzah. Skip. Can I just like... Yeah. Return to hideout. Alright, so that's the basics. Uh, so we're gonna go into something a bit more complex there before we end this video. Uh, and show you where I got stuck, I guess you could say. Or I just got tired of playing is a more accurate way of putting it. Uh, I am at the Frost Breath. I guess Frost Breath or uh, Keeper of the Ice were the two that I have options to play, so we'll do Frost Breath. Uh, which obviously you see there, I, I have not played, or I, I, I have not finished. Have not cleared uh, is the word I'm looking for. My throat is illing me. I'm doing a couple of these in a row, and it's just, man. It is rough. For someone who usually sits around and plays games and does not do a lot of talking, it is rough to keep doing these a bunch in a row. So, obviously, Rose still wants all the treasure, because she's a pirate. And here we are, to say, no, we're pirates. And I'm just gonna keep eating these chocolate because, you know, I'm like 10. He's stealing my monkey! Nope, that thing's gonna get pissed off. It's gonna freeze your ass. 
Wow, that's a problem now, isn't it? Yep, frozen monkey. So here I am, looking at this puzzle, going, what the fuck am I doing with my life? Because it's just, I don't know. I'm sure, I'm sure at some point I could figure out what I'm doing, but I'm just not that patient. Like, do I, what do I do here? I don't even know. I can click on it and it's not doing me. I got hit, hit a check. I don't know. So yes, much like any other uh, traditional point-and-click adventure game, it kind of plays a lot, a lot like those. Pull it back. See what happens. Brown. Alright, so I did a thing. And that did that. And... I don't know what that means. So, what we need to do is, uh... Oh, that's something's happening. No, I'm frozen. So I guess that's my problem here with this game uh, and this this style of point and click is that you can die. And I was much more of a fan of the games like Monkey Island and those classic LucasArts games where you could not die because I just started from the beginning or didn't any of that nonsense. I wish it really rubbed me the wrong way. Uh, and I didn't particularly care for it, um, so, um, we'll look at one, one more stage here real quick, and then, uh, close it out, because I am losing my voice, pretty much. That's okay. So yeah, it's just not a game that I ever really, like, I played a couple hours, and I was like, I ah, just not, not really my thing. Um, I wanted to like, I really wanted to like it, and, uh, just could not, sometimes games just don't click. Sometimes you buy a game thinking that it's gonna be amazing, and it just doesn't click. Thankfully, in 2014, as opposed to when I bought this, Gamefly is totally a thing, and, uh, the only worry I have now are games that are only available digitally. Being like, well, should I buy it? And in that case, you can wait for a Steam sale, and get it real cheap, and then it who fucking cares? You paid two bucks for it. Who cares? Um, but... At the time... Nope, need to think for that. At the time when things like Gamefly were not particularly prevalent, uh, you, you took your chances on games. And sometimes it was great, and sometimes it was not so great. So, I mean, theoretically, I could, like, you know, get a fact for this, and look up how to do everything, and, and uh, but I just don't, oh, yeah. I just don't want to. So that is the hook in this stage, is that that guy will just chase your ass and totally kill you. And it's like, well, you can start from the beginning, or you can hit the revive thing, and I mean, we'll, we can do that, but I don't. You only get so many of those, apparently. Yeah, see? Sure, I will spend it, because guess what? I am done playing this game. Forever. I'm done. I'm done. So, uh... Uh, I guess my apologies for a somewhat short video, uh, but... My patience is not always what it used to be, and uh, when there are games that I just don't care about that I know are going on eBay shortly, uh, 
I just wanted to get this video done to, sh to, to have it have a record of why I stopped playing this game so I can remind myself in the future if I go, hey, that's a game that I owned at some point, maybe I should buy it again. And the answer is no, I should not buy it again because I will get frustrated and stop playing it again and it is not worth my time or my money. So, having said that, once again, this is Attack Slug. This is where you at and I will see you next time right here. Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, where you at? Boy?